Hey guys, John Coe, Spear Guns here to go over the three coatings we offer for all of our Spear Gun models. The multi-layer oil finish, the multi-layer uh, ceramic finish, and the traditional Coa high gloss finish. Um, we offer any one of these three coatings on any of our Spear Guns. Um, usually they're special order because depending on the model, certain Spear Guns have this coating stock. So for example, the shorties and the battle axe get the oil finish because they take the most abuse out of most of our spear guns and there's one of our probably two of our best selling spear guns um, the ceramic finish the matte ceramic finish that is custom order so you'd have to email me or put that in the comment section on the order that you want the matte ceramic finish and we'll do that for you it usually takes a couple days but it's not a long wait um, and then we have our traditional high gloss sticks goes on every other spear gun traditionally except for the shorty and the battle axe. So let me tell you about these coatings. The multi-layer oil finish, we have two coats of a modified, a special modified oil. That is our base coats. And then we do three coats of tongue oil. Now the beauty or the benefit of the oil finish is you can maintain this yourself. Uh, it's not terribly difficult. You would just have to strip the spear gun, take the shaft out, take the line anchor out, take the handle off, take the gun butt off, and then you can sand it. You want to get crazy with it, you can sand it down to the wood and start from scratch and do just the tongue oil finish. I wouldn't mess with the modified if you're not in a rush. We use modified because of the dry times for when we're doing usually 100 spear guns at a time. We use a modified because it sometimes takes two to three days for that first layer of tongue oil to fully cure over for the next coat, the one that goes directly on the wood. So if you're doing it yourself, I suggest tongue oil. Some people say teak oil. Teak oil is great, but the downfall of it is it never catalyzes, it never hardens. Um, tongue oil has linseed in it and it will harden and it gives you a better base to lay additional coats on. And as you keep laying coats on, you'll see it evens out nicely. Um, but yeah, this is the one you can maintain yourself. You don't have to, if you're maintaining it yourself, you don't have to bring it all the way down to the wood. You can give it a good scuff with Scotch-Brite and you also want Scotch-Brite in between coats, but you want to give it a good scuff with Scotch-Brite and then lay on your tongue oil coats, let them dry, scuff again another tongue oil coat and so on um, give you a good look at it so you can see how it looks in the light it's not completely matte it's more of like a low satin but it does hold up for quite a while the tongue oil is it's a strong coat it holds up for a long time it might be years before you have to do your first coat on it depending on how often it's used and how you can take care of it um, now these two coats, the matte ceramic and the high gloss are both epoxy base. Um, you could try and maintain them yourself. We spent a lot of money on our apparatuses to get these coatings as consistent and nice as they are. It's not easy. Um, a lot of people, when they buy these, they send them back to us every four or five years, depending on how much abuse they take. And we bring them back to looking just like this again. We put them back in the rotation for the refinish. That's on the service page of the Coast Spear Guns website. You can send us the spear gun and we'll refinish it for you. It's not terribly expensive. Um, but the nice thing with the ceramic coat is it has a nice base layer of epoxy and then it has two layers of ceramic finish on top of it. And the ceramic finish as well as the high gloss are both loaded with UV inhibitors as to protect the wood from UV damage. And the difference with the ceramic finish is if you like that oil look with a little bit more strength to it, that's this finish. It's highly abrasion resistant, meaning if you were on an hour long boat ride out to your spot and it's sitting there banging and rubbing against something, it can take that all day. It can take the abrasion of anything. Now, if you drag it across a sharp reef, rack, rig, whatever um, yeah it's gonna cut through it just like anything else so that's that's the one issue with the harder coats but as you can see it looks almost identical to the oil finish just has a little bit smoother feel to it and we can put that finish on any 
any spear gun that you order. You just have to let us know in the comment section. And last but not least, we have our traditional high gloss, which this is one we've been doing for a long, long time. Uh, just like this, it is a base, multi-layer base epoxy coat. And then we have a specialized urethane that we order that is a low solids. Um, so we do the low solids because we don't, a high solids urethane, if, it, if something impacts it, it will spider web. We don't want it to spider web and crack, so that's why these don't spider web and crack. You can chip it if you hit something sharp or you know blunt force, you can chip it, but it usually does not spider web because it's not a super, super hard finish. Um, it goes and it combines very well with our base coat. But just like this one, most people, they, they buy these guns, they keep them for years. Many of them we never see again because they, they maintain the coat, they maintain the uh, gun and to keep it in good shape, this coat will last forever. But if you're somebody that uses it a lot and uses it very hard in some very structured areas, grief, wreck, whatever, and it gets beat up a lot and you want it to look brand new again, again, go on the Coast Beer Guns webpage go to the service form and tells you exactly how to send it back to us. It usually takes a couple weeks to work us in, work it into rotation, but we put it back to the same exact paces as when it was originally built. So it looks brand new when it goes back to you. Um, the uh, biggest question I get a lot, especially with these two finishes, when somebody chips the gun, they call me, Oh my God, do I have to fix this? Is water gonna get into the spear gun? Um, I'll tell you right now, if you take a spear gun down to two or more atmospheres, I could soak this thing in epoxy, it doesn't matter. Water will always find its way in. Um, water, that's why we use teak and sequel mahogany. We will not veer from either one of these two woods. Sometimes we do customs, but teak is the predominant wood in those customs if we do purple hard zebra wood, whatever, because Teak, these two woods are the best behaving woods when it comes to salt water environments. They don't react, they don't swell, they have a low radial shrinkage. They behave very well and they're predictable and durable. So if you chip the gun or you scratch through the finish somewhere, don't worry, it's not gonna change the dynamic of the spear gun in any way, shape or form. Um, if some people ask if they can touch up the spear gun with a two part epoxy, that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, don't feel like it has to, like water's gonna get in, it's gonna explode, that's not gonna happen. So if you have any questions with these, feel free to email me, John, G-O-H-M, at coastbeerguns.com. I'm happy to help. Thanks, guys.